Ah, what a nice day today. And today, I'm finally gonna be able to create my first spell. I'll finally be on. I'll finally be on my way to reach the tower. I need to at least get a projectile. I have something ready. It's a basic physical damage spell projectile version. Oh yeah. Let's start it off. I have almost all the ingredients that I'm going to need. Let's see. Get my juicer. I just need an iron sword. This should work. Hard to put away some stuff. Some plums. And block of One stick. Two iron and iron sword. Okay. So, should be able to just toss in the blank rune. Watch out! Oh, this is weird. What? Why is this not working? Don't tell me I built this wrong. Oh, uh, don't. Oh, I never put a stair on that side. Oops. My bad. I need to get some witch wood. Which wood? Which wood? Need which wood? I had to have it somewhere. No, no, no. Keystone chest. That's a bit weird. Everstone. Ugh. That's weird. I'm just gonna ignore that. Where did I put the witch wood? Ah. Oh. Hold on. Aha! On the stair. Okay, let's try this again. So according to my book, I would need one blank room, one medium dust, one arrow, one snowball, one more room, one iron sword, one spell partner. One spell partner. Don't get the earth, Bandy. Which is fine. One blank blue room, one red room, one iron sword, one spell partner, one arrow, and a snowball. Perfect. I chuck that in. It's still not working. Why are you still not working? Put that stair back. Oh, magical wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crafting altar. Glass, right? Yeah, I can use glass. Hmm. What is going on? Oh god, skeleton. I broke my sword on you, but he's maxed. Yeah! Ugh. I should probably go back to sleep. Why is my uh, thing working? Doesn't make any sense. Why is it my altar working? I built it right. Pretty sure. Sweet, not that. Sorry, I had to. Hmm. Let's get my stone sword out for the moment. Um What is going on? Yeah, that's witch wood. That's witch wood under there for sure. What is going on here? This is weird. There isn't, yeah, there's not like any kind of outcropping or anything. There's one like layer of witch wood on each side. So why isn't it? Uh, oh god. Wait. Dang race. Dang ghost of the undead. Ugh. Why isn't my thing working? This makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Yeah, it would be a stair and a stair. So... Mm. <sighs> this stinks. Maybe I should just get rid of all the dirt around it. 
Compendium. Oh, perfect. That's one. That's one layer. Take five by five. Put down the middle. I got that. Then have that. Then that. Then that. Then. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are just for wood, right? Quickly check. Mary? Do I have to completely. Oh, it's a double slab. These were slabs the whole time. For some reason. Oh, I can't go. Oh, but the thing is, I can't craft those back into. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to go exploring for another witch wood tree now. Die, you dang! You're guy. hurting me! Stop it! No! God, I turned down that sound there. Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's something weird that's happening. Okay, as a side note, guys, I'm just saying. For those of you who are watching this, this is just a side note. Out role play. Um, I did update the, um, this, this episode is going to be the first episode in the, in the newest Ars Magica 2, and there's some ID conflicts, so I had to replace some stuff. Like, I hope you guys don't mind, but I've gone to creative and replaced a few things because they ended up, like, that's, that explains why I had Everstone and, and um, the chest in my inventory, and my, and the, the keystone chest in my, my thing. These were iron inlays. Um, it was because there was a um, big ID conflict that happened, and everything got changed around. Like this, this used to be arm. Um, this used to be Tarma root. Yeah, Tarma root. So yeah, these must have been logs, and now I have witchwood leaves. So, so as you can see, it got really messed up. So I think what I'm gonna do is. I'm pretty sure like lots of witchwood sapling, like a lot of witchwood trees that were generated have been changed into like here I'll go back to the one that was over here. Oh god, it's hot today. Whew. But um here I'll show you. This essence the raw essence right here. It's like this big raw essence pool. Like right here. Yeah, this is um yeah, I think this used to be part of a witch witchery, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is just raw essence. This is just liquid essence. I know it, it's like really weird. And you, if you see more of these, just don't be afraid. Like, that's why. It's because I updated my Minecraft. I didn't back up anything. And then this happened. So I'm actually going to quickly go into creative. Sorry to say. And I'm going to put in those witch wood things. Wait, I wonder, or, oh, all of it is. All of it is slabs, except for the stairs. Oh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to completely rebuild this entire thing uh, off camera. Because obviously there's no witch trees around, so I'm going to have to go into creative. Sorry, guys, but I have to do it. If it's something I have to do for the series, I will do it. I'm so sorry. And so sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quickly going to go into creative and then fix this up. And then hopefully I can finally make my my first spell. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, okay, I'm back. I'm back. Um, so I know I rebuilt this thing. All of the witchwood blocks that were here got replaced with witchwood slabs, so that's why it wasn't working. So yeah, that's for that. It for the sign out. So I went to creative, quickly rebuild all this because all the witchwood trees got replaced with like weird liquid essence and summoners and stuff so yeah enjoy the rest of the show okay I finally figured out what was wrong eh something went wrong with the crafting altar and now as you can see it blends it used to be like stone around that edge but now it's blended in with the whole structure so now I should be able to just 
Oh, whew. I thought I lost it. Okay. That's one magic book. He's awesome. One Vintium Dust and one Arrow. One Snowball. A Red Rune. Iron Sword. And a Spell Parchment to finish it off. Oh man. I'm about to have myself my own spell. And. Hoot! I have a spell! Oh my god! Oh, this is so cool! There we go. I'm just gonna call it. Damage. Oh. Rock. Rock Blast. That makes sense because it just shoots a. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> yes! Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I can finally use this. It's just gonna give me lots of Earth of Andy. But still, okay. Ooh! Ooh, that's some things new that came into my. Ooh, I can make a spell book? Cool. Depending on how much I have those, I can. Yeah. I can actually make a spell book and then let's send these. Sorry for okay, I'm just gonna read it up on this. Seems important. Affinities represent a bond to certain areas of magic. Start with no affinity. Your affinities represent a small char on the HUD and can view more detail on Oculus. Your affinity will shift based on what spells you cast, meaning as you cast certain types of spells, more often you'll get better than them. Casting spells of a differing affinity will shift you towards it. Once you reach 100% in an affinity, you become locked to that affinity. And will re need to read opposing affinity tome to unlock your affinity, at which point normal progression will resume. Unlocking a full affinity will drop you down to 80% depth. Each spell component has an affinity. Components of the same affinity as you will cause less damage, and depending on your affinity depth, how far into the affinity you are, may not even cost reagents. Components of the opposing affinity, however, will cost, will cost more mana, and again, depending on your affinity depth, may cause additional reagents. Affinities offer. Specific bonus and disadvantages described on the Fenny specific pages. Basically, meaning this thing is giving me Earth of Fenny, which I am um, not even barely into it. So these are all the things I get. These are all the possible Fenny's I can get: um, Air, Lightning, Arcane, Fire, Ender. Ugh. I feel like I should already have a boost to that, considering the curse. Anyways, um, Ender, Earth, Ice, Nature, yeah, Nature, um, Water, and Life. All the, all, all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten affinities, all ten. And, I can finally get spell down! Awesome, but it caused a whole bunch of mana to do it. So yeah. Oh. Hey, stay back. Stay back. I'm warning you. Oh god, oh god. Scorpions, but this is so cool. I think I just leveled up too. Oh, and I got a map. Oh, it's a it's another treasure map. Awesome. Oh, I'm gonna be rich. If I go find those, man. If I go find those, if I eventually, I'm actually gonna take all those treasure maps with me. I'm actually gonna go search. I'm actually gonna go search the world for where they came from. Where did, I put the, where did I put my apple juice? Oh, oh there it is. Phew. Phew. Oh, I almost got enough leather to make a what do call it? I almost have enough leather to start making a spell book. How much? Three string. Oh, I can almost make a spell book. I think that should be a goal. Yeah, I can almost make it. Almost. 
it's like that, and then it's string on that side. I just need one more leather. So I should be able to make a. That's awesome. I'll be able to make. I need to kill, kill a goat, sadly. That was really like the idea of killing helpless animals, but eh. Yeah. If it's gonna give me a spell book, which is gonna be really useful in the future, then I'm gonna have to. That's not Hornsworth, okay, good. That's Hornsworth over there. Okay. <laughs> Wordsworth, I am sorry if this is a friend I'm killing of yours, but this is this also helps to increase my. Come on. There we go. I didn't drop anything. I take. I'm gonna take out my anger on you. You stupid fly. Okay, Hornsworth, I'm sorry I killed your friend for no absolute reason. I was trying to get the other, I'm sorry. I apparently failed horribly. And what was that? Oh, just arrows. That's cool. Got some obsidian from killing an ogre at one point. Ooh, a horse. I can use it. I can use horses. I don't want to kill the zebra because I eventually want to get a pegasus. Or some, or fairy horse. Because fairy horses are awesome. I am sorry about this. Forgive me. Forgive me. Just if we could drop leather. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can make a spell book. Woohoo! I can make a spell book. Get out of here, Lieber. I don't need you anymore. Actually, I don't think I ever need you except for making the what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really need the lever except for when I made the altar. And so far I haven't re oh god, lag spike, there we go. So far I haven't really gone to, uh, to do what for a lot. Avoid the dirt, the very dangerous dirt. Wordsworth, hey, I'm sorry for killing your friend. Apparently he didn't have leather on him. So sorry. So sorry indeed. <laughs> Ooh, I think I'm making a blue one, yeah. That oh, forgot that paper and then string spellbook. Yes, make it a blue spellbook. Ooh. I can put my my first ever spell in there, and I can use it now. Awesome. I think it's. How do I switch modes? Oh, I know. I don't want to do. Well, actually, I know what that is. If I do that, I can I can have the ability to, to get minions that will be able to do my bidding. Which I'll eventually do, but I'll have to do that some other time. I don't feel like I'm powerful enough to be wielding another creature. I see wielding, but it's not so much wielding as it is just... Wait, how do I switch spells? At this point, I know how to switch spells. Check out the controls and see if there's anything with the thing. Oh, X and Z. And I'm clicking something. Okay, period a comma. That works. I think it only works if I have a spell. Yeah, I'm just gonna guess on that. Hmm. That's finally solved. Skill points too from level. Yeah, I leveled up. So what do I need? Oh, oh, magic damage, fire damage. Or... Oh, dig! I can really go to dig. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That might be useful. Still 
point of being a bot. Oh yeah, see now I like that percent has slowly gone up a tiny bit. <sighs> Dig. Thinking I should, yeah. Think it, because it's kind of something. Well, first of all, I'm a dwarf. Of course, I need a dig spell, but. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Eh. Oh, what? I feel like I might regret that. Oh, that's. That's my. Not my compendium. Do you Ooh, mana potions. Lesser mana potions. A seed of some kind of sugar and a stinky potion. What? Ooh, man, a cake, the blue orchid, desert nova, wheat, and sugar. Hmm. <laughs> I like that the super thin blessed man potion is the magical equivalent to a cup of coffee. A short boost, but it won't get you through the entire day. Maybe it's just like an awkward potion or something. Something I can use. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. And now I can do projectile or touch and then dig. Eventually. Yeah. These are spell groups apparently, and instead of casting modes. Now you have spell groups, and basically, it can do. Okay, so I can now project out or touch, and then press dig. It's basically instead instead of project or dig, I can maybe just maybe if I just want to dig really close to me, I can just go touch. I can switch to touch, and I can dig. Pretty cool. Hmm. So I'm a level three mage. This is awesome. Uh, moving up in the world. Hi, Hornsworth. Oh, don't. What are you eating? What are you eating, Hornsworth? <laughs> Answer me. Answer me. Oh, well. <sighs> oh. It's so good to me. It's so good to be XP to use it on animals. Even. Even on insects. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't notice this before. Let's get the coordinates for this. And shoop, boop. There we go. Okay, I think that's all. I think that's all I'm going to do for today. This is really tired me out trying to figure out what's going on with all these different. Like, what was happening with my. Whatchamacallit. Like, what was happening with my. Uh, my crafting altar, like why it wasn't working or anything like that. Very confusing. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Alright, go in the next day. Collect some apples, plums. Probably set off on the journey. If I can. Yeah, probably set off on the journey and see if I can't find that Agnes guy. I mean, the book did say that in the. Like, it's like there's been rumors that he's still alive and he lived in a cottage. Maybe I should start exploring and try to find that cottage. He is an Earth Stop of Light and he was a co headmaster for the Fikar Leading School of Wizardry. And like or, the Arcane Arts, I should say. So, yeah. Maybe. Maybe when I. Um, yeah, maybe after I take my nap, I should probably get prepared. They go on an adventure. They go on an adventure of the for pursuit of the arcane. I will. Hmm. If I am gonna go, I'm gonna have to prepare. I'm gonna have to take. Ooh. Actually, I'm gonna. Have to, okay. 
Sin okay, considering he's an Earthstock, which means he's a Master Mage, he should have a crafting altar and probably a better one than I do. Or maybe he is one I can borrow. I should probably assume that. Hmm. What my chest should I take? I should probably take all the ores and probably some food and anything related to magic. Like this arm, or some chimerite, or the cinnabar, and any ores. <coughs> like this blue topaz and the ventium I had, the ventium right there. Ever so many keystone chests. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, moonstone definitely gotta take that. And then I gotta pick these treasure maps with me. I do believe there is a way for me to make, not make leather. Um, I can I can make a backpack apparently. And I should take. I should probably make a few backpacks. I'll take those with me <coughs> when I go to when I try to travel and try to find the the cottage. But considering he is a master, I need to do some thinking about this. Considering he's a master mage, ooh, gotta take my beaver head though. Mm -hmm. First day on this island, killed a beaver, put it on my wall. I have to take that with me. Hmm. So considering he's a, he would be an Earthstock or Earthstock Magnus, if you live in a quiet cottage, it has to be a big house, really. Because honestly, he's still pursuing. It the book did say he's technically still pursuing the arcane arts. So that still means he's making spells or rather perfecting spells. Hmm. He's probably perfecting spells, um, studying the, the, um, the arcane world around him, using thaumaturgy and alchemy. And so he's most likely going to have a pretty big cottage, most likely, simply because for all that stuff to be in there in order to progress, he would have to he would have to have lots of different kinds of machinery and stuff to power his arcane constructs. So I think next time, I think, I think after I take my nap, and I've got some stuff ready, I think I'll get prepared, like after I'm prepared and stuff, I think I will um, take on the daunting task of trying to find this Earthsocle guy, this Agnes guy, I mean, I know what Earthsocle is, but find this Agnes guy. And I'm also still wondering about the other survivor that supposedly that supposedly also escaped the desolation of my village. Hmm. I'm gonna have good dreams tonight, aren't I? I best be taking my nap.